good morning to all that are joining us today and a very good afternoon to our partners uh, in Taiwan. Uh, thank you very much uh, to Phoebe and Joy that are with us uh, today. So uh, this uh, webinar uh, today is uh, to prepare for the forthcoming EU-Taiwan matchmaking uh, event. Before um, going to the agenda, uh, I would like uh, quickly to go uh, for the housekeeping rules. This webinar is scheduled to last up to one hour. It will be recorded and afterwards published on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform together with uh, this presentation. All participants are in listening mode. And please, for questions, uh, because we will have uh, um, time for your questions, use the Q&A box, as this will allow us even to those questions that we are not able to respond to you straight away, to have a good note of those uh, questions, and we will come back to you um, in the forthcoming uh, days. So without further delay, I will quickly go through the agenda of the day of this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, we will start with a very quick overview of the past EU-Taiwan matchmaking events. This will help you to understand uh, that this is not only the first mission that we are planning. Some of you as uh, participants today uh, have been participating already. But for those that are joining us for the first time and are planning to join the EU-Taiwan matchmaking event uh, in Berlin, uh, this would be helpful to understand the number, um, some numbers and how those uh, events have been organized. Then, of course, we will go um, through the, um, we'll have an overview of the forthcoming Taiwan Expo in Europe, which will take place between 10th and 12th of June in Berlin. Uh, we will go through the specific program for the EU clusters, as currently uh, we have this the open call to, for expression of interest, and uh, there will be a time for questions and answers. My name is Theodora Jilkova. I'm a member of the ECCP team and will be moderating and facilitating uh, this webinar. And uh, I'm pleased to have uh, as speakers as well, Phoebe and Joy from uh, the uh, TETRA. So now, uh, quickly, we will start, as I said, mentioned uh, earlier um, when we were looking into the agenda. Um, the European Cluster Collaboration Platform has, uh, on behalf of the European Commission, uh, has organized uh, such uh, EU Taiwan event in, back in 2019. And this event took place uh, uh, in March, 6 to 8 of March at the context of the global industry trade show in Lyon, France. Um, you will have an access to this uh, presentation as well. Also information and the summary of um, this event is published on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform. But uh, just as a summary, uh, we can say that uh, uh, 75 meetings uh, were held between the EU and Taiwan clusters and organizations, of course. These are those that have been registered through the B2Match, but there were many, many uh, informal meetings during the days. And I'm sure that some of you, I can see, uh, have been also participating on this, um, in this event. Uh, also, uh, next, last year, uh, so this event was in Europe. Uh, last year, we had uh, a very successful uh, joint event organized with uh, Tetra. Our partners, uh, this was the EU-Taiwan matchmaking event, which took part in the context of the global ICT and uh, IoT show and exhibition Computex. And the event was in Taiwan, in Taipei, uh, between 30th of May and the 1st of June. You see the partnering organizations uh, uh, together, uh, ECCP together with uh, Tetra, as well as we've partnered with the uh, Chinese National Federation of Industries. If when going to the, yes, on this slide, uh, you see uh, a bit of the breakdown of the participants of this event. So we had uh, 16 participants uh, from the EU. Uh, from the EU. Uh, there were clusters as well as uh, SMEs. And also on the Taiwanese side, uh, we had 43 participants, uh, clusters, national straight uh, promotional organizations. So in total, the um, total number of participants for the event were 15, we had 59 uh, participants. 
And you can see that the number of meetings that took place over the matchmaking uh, uh, day were 109, but also there were registered 216 informal meetings that were initiated uh, during the day, as well as uh, in, the for, um, in the format of uh, the Computex, Computex exhibitions. When we've done the follow-up survey, um, we uh, understand from the responses that uh, 75 cooperation cases were initiated, and this was um, reported straight after the event. And within the follow-up survey, we see that uh, 17 uh, cooperation cases were achieved. So this is what happened last year. Uh, we are very pleased uh, with uh, our uh, being partners with uh, Tetra. And therefore, we are really looking forward uh, to this uh, uh, year's uh, edition, an event of the uh, and our plans for organizing jointly uh, the EU Taiwan matchmaking event in the context of the Taiwan uh, Expo uh, in Europe, namely in Berlin. So, in the next on the next um, slides, uh, you, we will see more about uh, the overall planning of the Taiwan Expo. And uh, of course, uh, in particular, we will also see what is the agenda of the expo itself, but also what is the specific agenda for the um, EU delegation of the, of, of the clusters that we are targeting to be part of the delegation. So uh, before going through the specific details, also I would like to say that, and uh, colleagues may support me, that they have such missions as uh, this uh, Taiwan uh, um, Expo in Europe, uh, it, they have a great experience of organizing uh, such uh, expos. Uh, you see on that uh, slide, uh, the previous editions just uh, during the last um, two years in a various, uh, uh, regions uh, around the world, and um, this is um, a great chance uh, for um, promoting uh, Taiwanese organizations towards specific markets, as well as facilitating um, collaboration between um, different counterparts. Of course, in that case, we will be looking uh, to facilitate connections between Taiwanese organizations and European clusters and SMEs. Maybe here, uh, if um, uh, Phoebe or Joy, you would like to mention something on the past events that you had as good examples. Uh, do you want to take the floor for a minute and so then we can continue further? And so, um, good morning, everyone. I'm Phoebe from Taishra. So as Theodora has uh, introduced, um, Taitra organized Taiwan Expo such exhibition in different countries for the past years and from uh, 2022 and 2023 we hold our expo in the United States and Japan so this year we decided to have our Taiwan Expo in Europe which will be held in Berlin Germany and this expo we tend to introduce uh, Taiwanese uh, Taiwan products and industries to other countries and uh, as a platform to promote ourselves. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. So, yes, we continue now uh, more in details to look uh, into what is uh, on the forthcoming, the, uh, to have the overview of the expo. So the dates, uh, you heard the dates, uh, it's um, 10th uh, to 12th, including uh, of June. Uh, the location is in Berlin, Germany, Germany uh, and uh, the actual venue that uh, the event will take place is the Deutsche Telekom. Uh, you see the, uh, the different uh, and supporting organizations. I will not uh, uh, read all of them. Uh, and uh, already on this slide, you see the theme, which is green, digital, and culture. And uh, the content of uh, those themes is uh, smart sustainability, smart mobility, smart healthcare, digital technology, culture, and creative industries. Uh, as a side event, and we will speak more uh, on that, um, there would be a semiconductor uh, industry forum. Uh, there we have a special information on that. So we will continue with some um, uh, details. Uh, um, maybe we can have a, 
preview of the location is a very uh, central um, location. I think we have a, pre uh, a presentation on the next slide of the of the location of the um, expo, where basically of the Deutsche Telekom. So colleagues, if we can uh, go on the next slide. Yeah, so you see it's a very central location. Uh, it's um, So it's very easy accessible. Uh, then um, more on the yes on the more uh, more on the main team. Um, so we've um, seen it already on the first uh, slide presented. Uh, the team of the expo is uh, um, concentrated around green digital and culture, and uh, though we've seen them previously, uh, you can um, on the on the next slide we have very well presented um, um, the the different uh, uh, industries that go under main thematic areas. Those industries, we have also included them in our call for expression of interest. So we are targeting uh, all clusters uh, that are falling uh, in those uh, uh, specific uh, areas. We will continue with the planning of the expo. So you uh, heard about the um, the, the building and this is how uh, is uh, will be built uh, the floor uh, on the days of the uh, event uh, we can call them a specific uh, pavilions uh, if i can may use uh, this uh, word uh, zones uh, where each uh, of the thematic uh, areas industries uh, will be presented also for uh, networking, there will be a networking zone, a uh, business uh, networking area where um, there will be the opportunities for the matchmaking. And uh, you see it, uh, we have uh, circled here uh, where also the, uh, we will have uh, a European cluster collaboration platform together with EEN. Uh, we will have a networking area, which area we will use for gatherings uh, and making sure, of course, you are having uh, time and space uh, to conclude as many as possible meetings. Uh, we will go and overlook now on the next slide the overall current uh, temporary ag agenda for the uh, days of the expo. So you've seen the plan, but this is uh, how uh, um, alongside the exhibitors, there will be uh, many things uh, happening on the floor. Obviously, the opening ceremony, the VAP tour, uh, there will be stage performances here. I, I've just again circled the time that also the semiconductor forum will take place. Um, afterwards, not uh, um, after I will give now the floor again to uh, colleagues from uh, Tetra to give us some more words about uh, um, the current uh, idea of the program. Uh, of course, there will be for the uh, EU delegates, for the clusters that would be part of um, our mission. Uh, we have, uh, we will define the program of the mission. I will present it uh, to you uh, on the next slide, but currently I would like to again to give the floor to uh, Phoebe or uh, Joy to give some uh, words about their planning of the program and the main stage and what activities could be also expected. Yes, sure. So as you can see from the slide, we've now prepared our temporary agenda for the three days expo. And um, we've we will uh, have several activities that our companies will have chan chances to promote their new products or new services to our visitors. And also we will provide several events, like um, as you can see, for example, stage activities. These activities will uh, show you like our Taiwanese traditional cultures. So it's also, uh, we also would like to have chances to promote uh, to introduce our cultures to all our visitors, and also on um, as on um, as you can see on the slides, which is marked as blue, we will also have events which is related to our mission. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you very much. Yes, uh, here I would uh, thank you, Phoebe. I would like also to um, say that we will also share uh, with you uh, the main website of the event because from one side, the European uh, we have presented we present the mission itself as it is part of uh, the current call for the cluster organizations. We have presented it on the um, European Cluster Collaboration Platform page, but also the expo itself it uh, uh, has its own uh, websites we will share uh, uh, with you. It is uh, um, already uh, well developed. And on this um, web page, you can constantly uh, monitor uh, the developments of the program. Um, as uh, Phoebe mentioned, there will be uh, different stage performances uh, from various organizations. And also on that um, website, so you will be able to see all the exhibitors uh, that they will be having kid uh, booth. I mean, they will be presented uh, in their uh, in the different under the different pavilions. Um, later on, I will discuss on uh, how on during the next steps, uh, important dates, but uh, even here uh, in the. Uh, chat, we will share with you uh, the important links. Uh, and uh, also, um, as the, um, mentioned earlier, all the recording of this webinar, uh, as well as the materials that uh, we are presenting, will be shared with all that uh, participating uh, today on the webinar, as well as uh, will be uploaded on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform. So uh, now we have seen the agenda, the current agenda for the Expo itself. Um, and now I would like to present you uh, the agenda, which is um, um, drafted specifically for the uh, EU clusters. Uh, so, of course, many of the activities we are trying to take uh, um, the best, everything what's pos um, fitting most, and it uh, would be very useful. We are trying to make a compilation between uh, the agenda of the Expo as well as uh, what we would like to um, organize for the uh, EU clusters and um, SMEs. So we will, on the 10th of June, this will be the start of uh, our mission. We will start with a gathering uh, at the ECCP and EN networking area, which you have seen it earlier on the, on the floor. Uh, then we will attend uh, the opening ceremony, thanks to our partners uh, inviting uh, all uh, your delegates. We will attend the VAP tour around the Expo, which will give you a chance uh, already to have uh, the first uh, uh, feeling of the, um, the, um, the different stands and the areas. Uh, there will be um, a reception, which uh, we will also attend. Uh, here you see that... Um, Mm, the time of the reception, but as well uh, in the start of the semiconductor forum. The semiconductor forum itself uh, will take place um, in a different venue, the uh, Hotel de Rome, uh, which is uh, very uh, close to the um, main venue of uh, the expo. Uh, there will be, don't be surprised, uh, uh, there will be a specific uh, registration for the forum. We will inform you whether this would be uh, by invitation or uh, the specific, uh, other specific registration needs to be concluded. We are still discussing with the partners that are specifically dealing with the forum. Some of you, th those that are representing the um, this specific uh, uh, industry uh, may already been uh, contacted and uh, uh, either I know that some have um, been contacted as speakers of the forum, as well as uh, you may already have invitations uh, to participate and to engage. But we will give uh, the um, clear indications uh, what would be the process uh, for um, uh, participating in the forum if this is something which is uh, falling into your interests uh, and uh, uh, thematic and industry area. Uh, also, uh, after, I mean, more or less towards the end of the, um, of the forum, so we will give a chance really you to take the maximum of all available um, seminars and presentations. Uh, we will start the EU-Taiwan Business Cooperation Seminar 
this would be again this will take place in the main stage of the Deutsche Telekom building of the main venue uh, where we will hear from uh, practical aspects of doing business uh, EU Taiwan we will um, already have confirmations of the um, German Chamber of Commerce um, we will have um, in the next two days we will have uh, uh, the overview of the speakers uh, where we will aim to have around half an hour of uh, uh, specifics uh, insights of uh, the EU Taiwan uh, business cooperation and uh, really practical uh, aspects on doing uh, business uh, between EU Taiwan and then also uh, we here we will hear uh, have um, testimonials from organizations that already have successful cooperations EU uh, or Taiwan or um, clusters or organizations that um, managed uh, during the last years uh, to sign partnerships and uh, having uh, successful cooperation. So we will hear the, uh, their um, successful stories. And also we will have a chance here to um, have um, the pitching uh, session, pitching session, both from uh, European and Taiwanese organizations. You heard earlier that uh, from Phoebe uh, that um, during uh, the three days, different organizations from the Taiwanese side will be presenting on the main floor their products and activities. But also here we will try to give as much as possible um, stage for uh, all clusters uh, participating from EU side and those uh, from the Taiwan that would like specifically to uh, promote their services uh, uh, to EU organizations to do these presentations. Uh, many of you are very much familiar with uh, the, those pitching. We had it last year, for example, in Taiwan. It's in the format of three, four minutes. Uh, we um, present, um, each of you present the uh, organization, uh, what you're looking for, what you're offering. So based on the number of applications that we will receive uh, now during the call, uh, of expression of interest, uh, we will create the proper timing and structure of those um, uh, pitching uh, activities. On the 11th of June, uh, we will have, um, uh, you see here, we've included online meetings. I will click uh, quickly update you what um, on that side. Uh, when we open, join, uh, we will open bit to batch. Uh, it is more or less now in the process. We are finalizing together with uh, Joy. Uh, we are finalizing the setup of the bit to match. So B2, the the bit to match uh, platform uh, will be open not only for those that are uh, on site, but there are some Taiwanese organizations and associations, uh, SMEs that uh, they will not be able to join physically, but still are looking to be part of the uh taiwan expo in berlin so um we will have a chance uh in the morning obviously um, respecting the time difference uh the different time zones we will concentrate time in the morning providing you with the chance to uh, schedule meetings with uh, associations and organizations smes that are not physically in berlin the whole afternoon will be available to schedule meetings with all those that are in person Taiwanese organizations that are in person in uh, in Berlin uh, some of the meetings because you see many of the organizations will be having stands so this would be clearly indicated some of the meetings uh, will take um, place at the different stands so when you are scheduling the meeting you would know whether the meeting will take place in the business area or you are going and visiting the specific stand. Uh, the, it will be indicated in the which of the pavilion, which stand number. So um, uh, this will be done through the B2Match. And um, uh, colleagues from Tetra will be on site and will be supporting all organizations that are uh, willing to have uh, uh, meetings. They will be uh, helping with the um, a presentation of uh, some uh, of other Taiwanese products. So um, we see a good chance uh, throughout the day of the on the 11th to create um, 
a good number of uh, um, possible cooperations with those that are uh, physically in Berlin, but also with those that are um, in Taiwan. And as usual, you for those of you that are familiar with uh, uh, our um, missions, uh, during the three days, we also dedicate uh, a day where we have uh, uh, side visits. Um, here, we are really uh, thankful to uh, local partners uh, that uh, will be supporting us a lot uh, uh, of um, the process of, um, of the execution of the, uh, the side visits, but not only. Um, this is still we are defining uh, the um, the plan, but uh, this has been already uh, communicated. Uh, so uh, uh, we will be looking to have a good uh, um, chance to visit uh, the key aspects of uh, uh, the industry that will be represented. Uh, you will receive, of course, uh, all related details on the site visits. Uh, we are more or less uh, we are more or less uh, concluding that information. This would be also together with all detail agendas with the speakers, uh, the side visits. This will be all included on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform website. Uh, of course, so afterwards will be seen as well as in B too much. Uh, there will be very clear, uh, clear instructions on. Uh, uh, how to create the registration process, how to make the selection so we know very well um, your interests. And of course, make sure that uh, you are at the right time, uh, you are having the meeting uh, and we are supporting you in every step. Uh, I think I've seen in the chat uh, that uh, uh, the share the presentation, yes, uh, as mentioned earlier, this presentation will be uploaded on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform, and we will send you the link so all uh, of you will have this information as well as with all additional aspects uh, that uh, uh, we have with detailed programs, with speakers, uh, at, which are available at that moment, with the site visits, with more details, uh, and of course, the overall um, current agenda of the Expo. Uh, on the next slide, we will be able to see as well, uh, uh, you've seen on a couple of times it was presented, uh, the Semiconductor Forum. Uh, you see the general overview of the forum here. Um, we have already the tentative agenda of the speakers of the forum, which we will also uh, include, uh, uh, will be included on the materials that we will follow up on this um, uh, webinar. Uh, you will have it. Again, would be uh, very uh, interesting to know uh, if uh, some of you have been, we know, I mean, we haven't, uh, we have been informed. Um, some have been already um, contacted to participate uh, or to engage, uh, which will allow us uh, even uh, better to structure uh, the uh, overall activities uh, for the EU delegation. Yes, you see here we have the uh, semiconductor forum. Um, again, uh, once again, the general overview of uh, the agenda that we are planning for the um, EU clusters and organizations. Um, if I'm not mistaken, so we've see, you see that on the 12th of June, uh, we are planning the signed visits to finish around uh, two o'clock. Uh, still the expo, I think it's on the previous uh, slide, uh, the expo on the third day will be open, um, colleagues, it will be open till five o'clock, correct? The third day on the June 12th. Yes, okay. Which means that after we finish with the, um, the side visits, you can still uh, go back at the uh, expo and um, you continue with uh, visits at different stands and uh, have more uh, meetings. Uh, okay, so yes, we've seen this agenda, we've seen the semiconductor forum, and now it's the time, um, uh, all this, I mean, I've mentioned it already on uh, various occasions. Um, uh, currently, 
uh, the call uh, for expression of interest is open on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform. Some of you have already applied. Uh, this is the focus areas, and uh, that's why it was important uh, um, for you, for those that it's uh, for the first time part of um, uh, and are considering uh, uh, participation in uh, uh, this matchmaking event. It was important for us to give you an overview of uh, previous um, uh, events that took place and uh, what we are currently planning. Uh, all of you that are, would like to be part of uh, um, your application to be considered, uh, please know that the current call is open. The first cutoff date for the current call is open on uh, till the 25th of April. I think we have more details on the next slide, if we can, uh, yes. So the current call is uh, open, uh, is targeting cluster organizations and business network organizations. You see the um, information. Uh, so we will we need to receive your applications uh, by the 25th of April. Uh, by that uh, time, um, we what would be the next stage? So if you have already applied, I just want to give uh, some uh, um, information. If you have already applied or considering uh, to apply, of course, now we will give a chance for your questions. Um, we will evaluate all received applications on the 29th of uh, April and uh, will inform uh, in uh, the next days, we will inform the participants uh, about uh, the results of the, um, of the evaluation. We will give you a time, a uh, few days to come back to us um, to reconfirm your willingness if you have been as organization have been um, selected uh, we will um, give you a time uh, frame to reconfirm your willingness to participate. But afterwards, we will request a very, um, there would be a very strict uh, uh, timing on, on the aspects that we are waiting from you to progress. Uh, we will also have, we will plan a technical webinar. Many of you are very well familiar with the bit too much. Um, but also we will have a technical webinar once we're going to go through the b 2 much. Um, you know how to create, of course, your profiles. It's not the first time for many of you to participate in um, uh, such matchmaking events, but would be very important we to make sure that you're making the proper selections. As you heard, um, there were, there is um, the information will be published on the European Cluster Collaboration Platform is, and is already uh, there as general overview. Also, there is a, a website of the, um, the main website of the Expo, which is already available, but also the information will be available in b 2 uh, And you heard that we will have, you need to make some selections, um, also to make meetings with those that will be physically uh, in um, uh, Berlin. And also with those that uh, uh, would be um, available for meetings uh, in a hybrid format. Uh, so we will schedule and we will inform you for the um, uh, inform you about uh, the uh, the dates. I see um, we are receiving uh, um, some notes. So uh, after uh, maybe the next slide, um, yes. So. Uh, with uh, this is the information with regards to the current call. We will um, uh, send the links uh, as said. Uh, um, we will have a chance now uh, to see your uh, questions coming, and uh, to everything that uh, that uh, we are able to respond, we will do it straight away, together with uh, the support of uh, the partners from Tetra. To those um, aspects that are um, still not uh, clear, uh, we, we will try to get back to you in the next couple of days. Um, mm, I see, okay, we have from Frank Biosenberg uh, uh, information with regards to the uh, Silicon Saxony Day in Dresden. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Frank, we will include that information, of course, to uh, everyone who uh, will be able also to travel uh, 
uh, on the 11th of Dresden, but this would be, um, uh, um, I mean, already the program, it's very ten, uh, dense, uh, but of course, uh, uh, we will make sure that this is, uh, uh, we are informing on the different uh, aspects. Uh, and thanks, uh, Fra um, Frank, for uh, recommending the event. The, the notes in the chat are available for everyone at the moment, so you can see uh, Frank has been participating uh, last year in uh, Taipei, and not only. Uh, so it's uh, one of um, participants and the valuable uh, valued cluster uh, partner that uh, can give really good uh, um, feedbacks and um, testimonials on, on um, successful cooperation between uh, uh, European organization and Taiwan. Uh, uh, so I see that there is a comment coming from Veselin with regards to the, the side visits. Mm, yes, we will summarize. I, I, we will fully understand that uh, um, there is a lot of information uh, currently have been presented on the different aspects. Therefore, we presented what is uh, on the um, uh, main uh, stage, of main floor of the event. Also, what would be the agenda for the uh, European uh, delegation, uh, but we will summarize. So we are taking a note as well as for the side visits, we will put uh, the aspect so you can clearly uh, see what uh, uh, is planned to be, um, to be done. And what will be shown, yes, this is all, it is presented already, we have, uh, uh, very well um, drafted uh, um, document for the side visits. It was, it's currently, it's a bit long. That's why I didn't uh, uh, present it here, but uh, yeah, we are, will be, we will publish it on the uh, event website. Um, so you can have a clear picture what will be presented uh, and what will be discussed during those side visits. Uh, we welcome more questions. We have time, mm, so even in the meantime, if colleagues from uh, uh, Tetra would like to uh, to mention to to say uh, say give some more inputs, Joy, maybe from you for the B too much. If I have missed something, uh, please uh, add a couple of notes here. But uh, um, please, I mean, I can give you the floor while we are waiting for more uh, questions. I think Theodora already uh, addressed um, uh, all the information about the online matchmaking and on-site matchmaking. So everyone, uh, if the website's published, so welcome to book the meeting and then have a, a matchmaking a meeting with our Taiwanese company. Thank you. Thank you very much. And... Uh... I mean, uh, I'm not sure whether at the moment we can um, inform when we will be planning to open the bit too much, but uh, um, I, I'm not sure what uh, when you are uh, considering uh, to finalize the bit too much. It is not urgent, uh, but if we can give some indications, uh, I can appreciate. Uh, we uh, actually the bit too much it's uh, published. But we still upload some information and then have our exhibitor to uh to have a more their product and company information on the marketplace. So uh, everyone will is welcome to register first and later on to uh, book the meetings. Yes, yes. Uh, for the uh, for those for in our process, um, we will be first evaluating the participants uh, uh, from the call and afterwards uh, for those that are being selected we will distribute um, the bit too much but of course uh, we already know that it's uh, um, we are looking to share it as well with uh, SMEs uh, via e and network uh, so they can also register and uh, be engaged in the overall um, program and 
to have a chance uh, for meetings. Uh, while we are waiting um, uh, for more questions, uh, um, we may um, go uh, on the next slides uh, for those that uh, are new um, uh, for the activities uh, um, organized of the European Cluster Collaboration Platform. Uh, colleagues, if I, we go on the next slide, I just want to, uh, would like um, quickly to introduce uh, um, the activity. So we encourage you to continue following the EU cluster collaboration. Uh, you see the, um, please follow us as well as on uh, LinkedIn. Um, I see we are having uh, another question. Uh, is there a similar uh, call uh, of expression of interest in EEN? Um, I know that uh, according to the, um, the, basically there is no call, at the, your, the EEN is directly um, opening for the SMEs to um, engage in the, in, in the event. So I don't think there will be a specific call for the SMEs they are welcome to uh, participate, to, um, to register via B2 match and participate. Joy, is that, is it, it's that correct? There will be no specific calls. Basically, it is open for, um, uh, for participants. So. Uh, no, uh, no, but, but you, can, you are welcome to register our event on B2, uh, via B2 match. Thank you. Uh, please, I mean, you will see the uh, in the call that it's currently published. Uh, um, we have defined uh, um, in detail uh, with uh, details all the aspects. What uh, uh, you know that uh, the EU clusters and uh, business uh, organizations, um, the EU clusters which are falling under uh, organizations that are falling under um, the, um, the current call. We are supporting those organizations, their uh, financial support after achieving, uh, the, um, reaching the requirements of um, that are published in the call. Uh, so we, we encourage you uh, to read carefully if there are questions with regards to the actual call, please also come back to us. Um, there is um, uh, time uh, till um, till the uh, current cutoff date, so we will be able to respond to, to specific questions. Um, we encourage you to consider the participation uh, for this event. Uh, you have seen from the uh, numbers that have been presented from the previous uh, um, missions, uh, the number of meetings, uh, the number of achieved um, initiated cooperation cases, but as well those uh, that have been achieved. So we have uh, more, I don't seek more questions. We have time, so it is really, um, it's time, um, it's a good time for, uh, for you if uh, something was not clear um, of, um, during the present in the time of uh, we presented uh, something from the agendas uh, um, even if you have suggestions as uh, we've seen earlier about the way uh, we to present it uh, uh, please let us know because this will help us uh, we to provide you with the um, with the information that we have in the best possible way If um, yeah, no, um, okay, we will wait for a, for another minute, uh, maybe while uh, we wait for some other um, questions. But once again, thank you to all that uh, um, have. Um, 
consider to be with us uh, uh, today. Um, we thought that would be very um, practical and good uh, to um, share with you uh, different insights and overviews of previous events. Mm. Um, what is the website address of the bit too much for this event? If we are considering I mean, uh, iOS, uh, if you are organization, if you are representing an SME, uh, we will, um, uh, colleagues, would you be able, Joy, would you be able to respond in the, in the chat at the moment? Uh, okay, I will send on the chat. Okay, perfect. All useful, uh, all useful links as well. We will uh, share with you um, uh, in the follow-up uh, email, as well as um, together with all the uh, materials. Okay. Um, maybe we can um, aim for uh, one more minute to stay to see if there are um, other questions. My again advice, please uh, uh, read the current call. Um, if you have questions, uh, get back to us uh, if uh, there are some aspects which are not clear. We will provide you with the follow-up information of the overall agenda of the uh, Taiwan Expo. As you've seen it today, um, the agenda, of course, it's always uh, developing. We will provide you with information, as you've seen today, the agenda, what we are planning for the uh, for the clusters, uh, which are uh, which will be uh, selected and we will be part of uh, uh, of the mission. Mm, they will be, um, we'll also provide you with the agenda of the semiconductor forum, of course, uh, as it is at the moment, uh, some of the um, speakers might change, as well as uh, with details about the site visits. But it's important now, if you are considering joining the event, to make sure that all questions that you might have on the call, to read uh, the call for expression of interest, to get back uh, to the team uh, of the European Cluster Collaboration Platform so we can respond and obviously you have an opportunity to apply uh, within the time frame, which is 25th of April. Okay, I don't see more um, questions coming. So if no uh, other comments, uh, um, colleagues, any comments from your end? Would you like to uh, say some words? Um... I really thank you for, uh, thank you to partners from uh, Tetra for uh, joining us and, uh, today and uh, uh, supporting uh, the presentation of various aspects for what is planned in the context of the Taiwan Expo. I would like to thank to all that have um, considered uh, to join the webinar today. And uh, uh, we are looking forward to receiving uh, your applications and uh, looking forward to seeing you all in uh, Berlin. Thank you very much.